So when a thought comes to do something, if there's, how, how do you distinguish between when that thought is from the mind or when it's grace why speaking? Should, why should you distinguish? Your only task is to hold on to self-attentiveness and to ignore thoughts. If it is your destiny, I mean, if, if that thought and the action for uh, result from that thought are in accordance with your destiny, Bhagavan will make your mind, speech, and body do those actions. It is no concern of yours. Your only concern should be holding on to your being, I am. So in this path, we are moving away from doing towards being. The mind, speech, and body may continue doing, because that's their nature, and they will be made to act in accordance with the destiny. Bhagavan will make them act in accordance with our destiny. But we will be clinging more and more firmly to our being and thereby separating ourselves from this mind, speech, and body, but to doing the actions. So the free will is not to decide which action to do, but the free will is to keep turning within. Is that? No, but the freedom of will lies in vasanas are constantly rising. We are free either to be swayed by a particular vasana or not swayed by it. So we are constantly using our free will, even when our attention is going outwards, because vasanas are pulling us in many different directions. But we, 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 we select certain direction to go in, as it were. So we are, we are all constantly using our freedom of will. But the correct use of our freedom of will is to not, be, not allow ourselves to be swayed by any vishaya vasana, to allow ourselves to be swayed only by sat vasana. In other words, we, the correct use of our freedom of will is to cling firmly to self-attentiveness and thereby not allow ourselves to be swayed by any other vasana. Thank and you. whatever actions of mind, speech, and body are necessary for the unfoldment of our prarabdha, Bhagavan will make them act. So by clinging to self-attentiveness, we are surrendering our mind, speech, and body to him. He will make our mind, speech, and body do whatever they're meant to do, whether we surrender to him or not. But if we don't surrender to him, then we will also be doing action by mind, speech, and body under the sway of our vasanas. <laughs>